I want to invite you to download our free app and find out for yourself why personal trainers are loving it. You can download it at the App Store or on Google Play. There are 365 workouts on this app, so that's one workout for every day of the year. We're gonna start with our warm up, and our warm up starting now. One minute per movement, it's gonna be three movements. The first movement, you're gonna be reaching up to the sky, really expand, coming down, keep your legs straight and touch the floor. Really easy, just coming down, feel your hamstrings stretch, feel your whole body expand. We're gonna breathe deeply. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Again, nice and easy. The goal is to get your body limber, that way you can rock and roll once we start. We have a nice, difficult exercise today. All right, and then the next warm up movement that we're gonna do is gonna be a bomber. So you're gonna come down on the ground, get into a push up position, come up into a downward dog, do a push up, and come up into a cobra, and back up. You wanna exhale when you come forwards, inhale when you come backwards. This is a very difficult movement sometimes, so to make it easier, you can keep it where you do it from your knees. If this is a little bit too difficult to do it from your toes. This is really good for opening up your lower back and getting blood flowing in your upper body. Remember to constantly be breathing. And again, if, as it gets difficult, drop it to your knees and just keep getting your body moving. Great job. And then the final movement of our warm up is gonna be a shoulder rotation. Very similar to the bomber we just did. You're gonna again be in push up position. Arms are gonna be right about shoulder width apart. You're gonna come down and up. More of a circular motion. This time your hips don't move. And again, do it from the knees. If it's a little bit difficult to do it from your hands because the goal is to get nice and warm and get blood pumping throughout your body. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Great job, everybody. And that's our warm up. Let's hop right into it. With the kettlebell snatches, it's a movement where it really involves the hips. What I want to see is I want you to come down in a squat stance. I want you to have your hand, kettlebell facing vertical. I want your hand, turn your thumb towards your body, grab your kettlebell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explode and kind of shrug my shoulder a little bit. And as I explode, the momentum from my legs sends that kettlebell to the top. It's not a press. It's the explosion and the momentum brings the kettlebell to the top. So that's one. We're going 10 per side. Exhale on the way up. Really squat back. Get that hip, get your hips where they're sitting back. Explode them up. Get that kettlebell up. Keep your grip loose. 
So the kettlebell has the ability to move, but keep your wrist tight. You don't want to end with your wrist all bent. You can really mess up some of your tendons if you do that. Great job. Exploding with your legs every time. Now, gotta make it even. Same thing, it might feel a little funny when you switch sides. You usually have a good side and a bad side. This is my funny side. So, really focus up, remember the form. Hands out in front of you, turn your thumb down, grab your kettlebell, still in that vertical position. I'm in a nice squat stance. I'm very explosive, very powerful. Explode up, and let the momentum bring the weight to the top. Bring it back down, just like that. Again, the momentum that you spring from your squat sends the kettlebell up. Good job. Exhale when you come up, inhale when you come down. Great job. Let it down nice and easy. Now, for this next exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a warrior three with the kettlebell. So, I'm gonna grab this kettlebell, I'm gonna have it in my right hand, and then I'm gonna be balancing on my left leg. As I shoot my right leg back, I'm gonna straighten my right arm out. We're gonna go 10 reps per side. Let's hop to it. So, coming into the warrior three, and back to center. Good. Leaning forward, straightening that arm out. Great job. I know it's burning, stay with me. We're about to switch sides. Excellent. All right, let's make it even, same thing, going the other side. The kettlebell this time is in my left hand. I'm balancing on my right leg. Same thing, left leg goes backwards, left hand goes forwards. Great job. Nice and controlled. Really feeling that shoulder. Shooting that leg back. Good. All right, good job. Our shoulders are burning. Our back's getting pretty tight. Let's go ahead and stretch it out one more time. Coming down, good feel. Let that back open up. Keep those hamstrings loose. Good extension. What we're doing next is we're gonna actually do jack thrusters. So, for the jack thrusters, I wanna do 12 per side. So, with our kettlebell, get a nice, good power clean where we hop underneath it. Starting right here, wrist is straight. So, normal thruster, we squat down, explode up. This time, we're gonna kinda hop and come wide and back to center. Going for 12 reps. Tight jump. Press it up. You don't have to jump too high, just enough to explode your arm up. Generate power from your legs. Good job. Excellent job. Shake our arm out just a little bit. Let some blood flow back in the area. Get some of that burning out. Nice deep breaths. Now we gotta make it even. We're gonna be going onto our left side. Same thing, same exact clean. The thumb is towards us. We're gonna power clean it up, catch it, and it's gonna stay right here. Start with the feet narrow. We're gonna explode and press at the same time. All right, 12 reps. Great job. Exhale every time we jump. Great job. Next move we're gonna do has a little bit of moving parts to it, so I'm gonna start talking us through it. It's gonna be the 
curtsy lunge with the curl to press. So what I want to do, before we even start, we're going to curl our kettlebell, we're going to curtsy lunge, press as we come back to center, bring it back down, curl, and press. All right, we're doing 10 per side, let's hop right into it. So, curl before we start, lunging back, pressing up, bring it back down. Really feel that bicep curl, keep that shoulder press. Nice breathing. Great job. Going to 10 reps. We're almost there. Good job. Curl. Excellent. Curl it back. All right, let's make it even. So, same movement, just to the other side. We're gonna curl before we start. Lunging back. Exploding up. Curl it. Lunge. And press. A lot of moving parts, don't get frustrated. Just practice with it. Curl first, coming back. Right here. Curl, lunge, and press. Great job. Just like that. Again, good curl, lunging back, explode up. Doesn't take much weight. Curl, lunge your back. Excellent job. Excuse me, curl, lunge your back. Pressing up. Excellent job once again. Curl, lunge and press. Great job. All right, shake your arms out. Couple deep breaths. So the next exercise is gonna be a strict row to curl. So we're gonna do 15 per side. So what we're gonna do, I wanna hop into a nice lunge stance and we're gonna row it, curl it, and that's one rep. Row, curl, just like this. And curl, and just so you can get a little bit of a better idea, what I really care about on your rows is I want you to bring your elbow back around towards, you know, pretty low. You don't wanna pull it too high because then you're gonna work your trap as opposed to your lat. So keep it back and curl. And whenever you curl, keep that elbow pinned in place. Great job. Pulling it back. There we go. Good, going to 15. Just like that. Inhale when we row. Exhale when we curl. Great job. Really focus on bringing that elbow back and curling it in. Good. Now we got 15 more on the other side just to make it even. So hopping into that same lunge stance, putting my weight on my knee. I'm gonna row, curl. Make sure we're bringing that elbow back and keeping that elbow in place when we curl. Good, really wanna feel the muscle burn on this exercise. Pulling it back and, row, and curling it. Great job. There we go, keeping that nice breathing pattern. Pulling that elbow backwards, keeping it in place as we curl. Good. We're almost done. Stick with it, you can do it. Great job. So, let's go ahead and hop into it. We're gonna be doing the clean to press. Just to recap, for the clean to press, we want the kettlebell to be vertical. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna turn my palm down and grab my kettlebell. What I'm gonna do is just like a kettlebell swing, I'm gonna pop my hips, I'm gonna shrug a little bit, I'm gonna drop underneath and catch it. And then from here, dip my knees a little bit, come right over my head. We're gonna do 10 reps per side. So, without further ado, I'm in a kettlebell swing, I'm gonna go ahead and squat, 
kind of dip underneath it. <sighs> Squat again and come up. Bring it back down nice and safe. Explode, drop. <sighs> Use my legs to shoot up in the ceiling. Again, bring the hips. Explode. <sighs> Good. Control on the way down. <sighs> Make sure you're keeping this wrist straight. You don't want to look like this when you're doing it because you can really hurt the inside of your wrist. Coming down, explode up. And exhale as you come up. Press. Coming back down, explode, drop. Press. Good. Again, explode, drop, press. Last one. Great job. Give ourselves just a couple seconds. Two, three deep breaths. And we gotta make it even. So, let's go ahead and hop into it. We're gonna have the kettlebell vertical again. I'm gonna take my hand, turn it down way so my thumb is towards my body. Grabbing my kettlebell. Again, sometimes it feels funny when you switch sides. Just take it nice and slow. We're gonna explode, drop, use our legs to shoot it up to the ceiling. 10 reps. So, explode, catch, to the ceiling. And back down nice and safe. Good. Keep it nice and clean. Have a tight grip, but loose enough where the kettlebell can move around. Good. Bringing the hips. Exploding up. Notice how, you see me, I squat up and I drop to catch the weight. That's the key. This is momentum, it's not a bicep curl. Good, it's a leg exercise. Great job. And we're gonna hop right back into it. This next movement is very balance intensive. It's also, you know, just take it nice and slow. It's a straight leg deadlift, only on one leg. So it's a single leg, straight leg deadlift. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our kettlebell, we're gonna have it in one of our hands. And what I'm gonna have, have you do, so it's in my right hand, we're gonna balance on our left leg. So as we come down, I'm gonna have a slight bend in my knee. I'm gonna send this leg straight back, come down, reach down towards the floor, bring it right back towards the center. We're gonna go for 15 reps per side. Keep it nice and slow. This exercise is a really good exercise. It's gonna really focus on your hamstring and your glute. So, as we reach back, come back to center. Balance is gonna be a factor, so take it nice and slow. Good, really feel that hamstring stretch out, contract that glute at the top. So there we go. Remember, your arm with the kettlebell just stays completely loose. Don't wanna activate any muscles, just let it dead hang. Coming down, back up. You wanna feel your hamstring stretch out on the way down. Pull with it on the way up, really grab that glute. There we go. Still feeling that hamstring stretch out. Grabbing a glute contraction at the top. Nice deep breathing. Watch that balance. Keep your weight in your heel as you do this. Great job, everybody. Coming back. Pulling it in, good. There we go. Still shooting that leg straight backwards. We're bringing it back to center. It's a great exercise for your hamstrings and your glutes. We're also doing a lot of lower back work to stabilize as we bend forwards. Good. Coming back. And back to center. Great job, everybody. Now, we gotta make it even. So, just kinda give yourself a second. Couple deep breaths, and we're gonna hop right back into it. So, we're gonna be right here. I'm gonna have all my weight on my right leg. The kettlebell is in my left hand. My palm is towards me. And all I'm gonna do, again, you always have a good side and a bad side. So, for me, my right side's a little bit more shaky. I'm gonna take it nice and slow. We're gonna reach down, inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. This arm's at a dead hang. Feel that hamstring. Contract that glute at the top. Coming down. Good. Going for 15 reps. 
There we go. Keeping your weight in the heel the whole time. Inhaling on the way down. Exhaling on the way up. Really feel that hamstring. We're gonna put our brain in the hamstring. Bring it back to center. Great job, everybody. Sticking with me, come on now. Good. There we go. I know it's gonna get tough. We gotta push through at the end. We can make it. There we go. Keeping that balance, feeling the stretch. Good squeeze at the top. There we go. Great job. Pulling it back to center. Great job, everybody. That was 15 per side. Go ahead, give yourself just a second. Set the kettlebell down. Get a nice hamstring stretch. Just reach down. Try to touch your toes. You don't even have to go down that far. Get to kind of stretch out after that exercise. A couple deep breaths. And then we'll hop right into the next exercise. So, this next exercise, next exercise is gonna be a kettlebell windmill. With the windmill, we're focusing a lot on our core and our shoulders. We're gonna do 15 per side. We're gonna take this kettlebell, snatch it up, our arm stays locked, our feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna go down and then back up. And we keep this arm where it's locked in place and vertical towards the ceiling, turning our shoulders to the sky. If you wanna make it a little bit more difficult, you can look down instead of up. Whenever you look up, a little bit more hard because you don't have anything to keep yourself balanced. Great job, keep this arm locked out. Feel your obliques get worked. Exhale as you go down. Inhale as you come up. Now. 15 more on the other side and make it even. Again, snatch it up with good form. And then we're just gonna reach down, keep that arm straight, come back up. Great job. It's okay if you bend your knees a little bit, but you really wanna focus on activating the core as you do this exercise. Keep that shoulder locked. Great job, everybody. Almost done. Last one. And excellent. We're gonna hop into a goblet squat to press with a back kick. So, this is gonna be a movement that not only uses our legs, our glutes, but also our shoulders. Again, another full body movement, several moving parts. So take it nice and slow. We're gonna grab our kettlebell, hold it from the bottom up, let us work a little bit more forearm. We're gonna go down into our squat, up into our press, and do a back kick with our legs straight. I wanna do 10 reps per side, so without further ado, coming down. As we press, kick back. Good, really emphasize keeping that leg straight and squeezing that glute when you press up. This requires a little bit of balance, so take it nice and easy. 10 per side, we're almost done. Excellent. Really extend those arms overhead. Get that back kick. One more, perfect. Now we gotta make it even. So we're gonna squat down, and this time, send the other leg back. Really feel that glute squeeze. And as we squat, make sure that knee's not going over the toe. Keep sending those hips backwards. Good job. Really grabbing that glute contraction. Excellent job. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our kettlebell, give ourselves a couple seconds just to catch our air, kind of open up, 
Got a little bit of a leg burn, shoulder burn going on from that last movement. We're gonna do a clean to press to extension. So putting a lot of things together, I'm gonna show you really nice and slow. For the clean, we're gonna get down in a nice squat stance. My kettlebell is gonna be right in front of me. I wanna hold it with my thumb facing down towards me. We're gonna explode and I'm gonna shrug a little bit and I'm gonna squat underneath it and catch it, getting this elbow underneath. Then from here, dip a little bit, shoot it straight up. Now my elbow is gonna be fixed in place and I'm gonna do an extension. So all together, nice slow motion, one more time, just showing you. I'm gonna bring my hips, I'm gonna bring my hips, catch it, explode up. Now my elbow stays fixed in place and that's one. We're gonna do 10 reps, nice and slow on the way down. Let's rock and roll. So, exploding up, clean, press, extension. Bringing it back together. Explode up, clean, press, extension. Bringing it back down. Explode, catch, straighten the arm out. Extension, elbow stays fixed in place. Bringing it back down. Bringing it back. Excellent. Make sure you're breathing. I know there's a lot of moving parts in this movement. Take it slow. Try to keep the form. Excellent. Explode, drop. Excellent. Now making it even, going on to the other side. Gonna go the same thing. Thumb is towards me. Explode, dip, catch. All right. Again, explode, dip, catch. Remember to breathe. Get that tricep extension. Coming down. Bring the hips. Explode. Good extension. Coming down. Explode. Press. Extension. Remember on that extension, keep that elbow fixed in place. Great job. All right. We're going to hop into the cool down. What I want us to do is to go ahead and get in a sprinter's pose. So a sprinter's pose or a spider lunge is the other name for it. What you're going to do is you have one leg forward. The other leg is going to be completely straight. So from a side angle, looks like this right here. Both of my hands are equal with my foot. And what you should feel is a really tight stretch on the hamstring and on this hip pointer of the back leg. I'm gonna hold this right around 30, 30 seconds and then switch sides. Great job, everybody. This has been an excellent workout. This has been a workout that you know definitely works on your cardiovascular, but also has been very good for building muscle in your legs. Y'all work really hard. Keep this stretch. In just a second, we'll switch sides and keep it even. Focus on getting your heart rate back down. We'll go ahead and switch sides. Again, holding it for right about 30 seconds. And so, nice 90 degree angle on my knee. My hands are even with my feet. I like to make a fist just because it's a little more comfortable on my wrist, but uh, it doesn't matter if you make a fist or not. And you should feel a good stretch on this hamstring and on this back hip pointer. Give yourself some time to breathe. Great job. It's a very difficult workout and I'm glad you made it through. Now, begin just getting a good hamstring stretch. I want you to reach down, try to touch your toes, go as far as you can, hold it for a second, and then keep your arms wide, open up. Really exhale. Inhale on the way down. Exhale right here. Good. Get a good feel. Hold this right around just a minute. Get a good stretch on those abs. Good stretch on the hamstrings. We did a lot of core work, a lot of lower body work. Great job. Good. 
good. And a good feel. Almost done. Excellent job today.